All right, what's up guys? It's Mr. Comer here and I'd like to welcome you to uh, the Life Functions Green Sheet presentation. Kind of doing this a little bit differently. Uh, we're going to kind of flip the classroom and um, you guys are going to get your green sheet notes uh, by watching this video. So um, as we already read so far, the eight life functions are the metabolic processes um, that maintain homeostasis in living things. And as we already talked about, uh, metabolism is a really important word. It's pretty much everything that a cell does. All right, so it's the sum totality of all of the chemical reactions that occur inside the cells of living things. You may have heard this word metabolism referring to how quickly someone's able to process food in their body, or that maybe your metabolism gets slower um, as you age or get older. Um, but that's only one part of metabolism. Metabolism is all of the life functions that occur in a cell that allows a cell to maintain homeostasis. Now this is really important. Homeostasis um, is this process by which um, organisms maintain a constant internal conditions. So um, sometimes they refer to homeostasis um, as dynamic equilibrium, and other times they'll just say um, balance, right? It's when an organism is in balance. And this is kind of how it works, right? Homeostasis here and the green is like, all is good. It means I'm healthy, I'm an organism, and I'm working pretty well. And at any given moment, um, kind of like something might change, you know, um, I don't know, maybe the temperature gets too hot, um, and that's gonna be a stimulus. And what my body's going to do to respond to that, it's going to make me, what did we say, um, sweat, and then that's gonna bring me back into homeostasis. Um, this is what we call a feedback mechanism. It feeds you back into homeostasis. So then on the other end, if um, things get too cold, um, my body's going to respond and bring me back so that I'm okay. All right. Uh, an important thing to kind of consider, too, is that um, from time to time, um, a stimulus will happen, and then um, an organism won't be able to bring itself back into homeostasis. That's what we call a disease. So, uh, for example, someone that has um, diabetes, um, if their blood sugar gets too high, um, they can't bring themselves back into homeostasis. And if they stay out of homeostasis for too long, um, death can result. So homeostasis is where an organism wants to be, right? Disease um, is defined as the failure to maintain homeostasis. And diseases have many causes. Um, we are going to be studying genetic diseases or diseases that get inherited. Um, diseases are caused by um, lifestyle and behaviors. Um, some diseases are caused by um, pathogens and are infectious. So we should be kind of aware of the different ways that um, people can get diseased and therefore not be able to maintain homeostasis. The eight life functions, we already said that if you can, um, if you can uh, describe all of these metabolic processes that occur, um, you are going to very easily be able to pass the r -r 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 region. So um, without further ado, um, let's get going. So uh, regulation is going to be the process by which uh, all organisms maintain homeostasis. This is where we're going to respond to stimuli in our environment. And in multicellular organisms, this takes place. Um, this is accomplished by the nervous system and the endocrine system. The nervous system, uh, made up of your brain and spinal cord, um, this is going to respond uh, to fast uh, very quickly and have short-term effects. And our endocrine system is going to respond a little bit more slowly um, because it's dealing with, you know, glands and hormones. Um, but the effects are going to be a little bit more intense and a little bit more long term. Um, we're going to discuss the differences between these two at a later date. But for now, we should be aware that regulation is this process by which organisms maintain homeostasis. Um, and it's accomplished by these two life processes. All right, so um, the next one is reproduction. So uh, reproduction is a process by which organisms make new little organisms. So we should be kind of aware of the idea that uh, life comes from life. And there's two types of uh, reproduction that you should be aware of. Um, the first is uh, the type that happens in unicellular organisms, unicellular or made up of one cell, cell u cell ular, um, made up of one cell. And, and that's called asexual reproduction or one parent reproduction. It's also referred to as cloning. So that's essentially when an organism like this with a little piece of DNA in it 
um, just essentially copies that piece of DNA uh, and makes an identical copy of itself. Most multicellular organisms do a form of sexual reproduction, which involves two parents. So you have a parent with some DNA here and a different parent with some DNA here. And then um, they combine their DNA um, to make an organism that has a little bit of DNA from both of them. So um, this is when two parents get together and the take home message on this is it generates tremendous genetic variation, um, which will, as we'll see later in this course, is um, an asset to living things here. All right, uh, respiration is gonna be the process by which organisms uh, use energy, or really it's the way that they um, convert the energy that's found in uh, food, or in this case, sugar, because uh, food is gonna be referred to as sugar in this class, into a usable form. And in, um, in this class, the usable form of energy that we're gonna be talking about is this stuff called um, ATP, or as I like to say, uh, where an Indian lives. Um, that's a joke. So uh, at the end of the day, when we're trying to think about this, respiration is really all about energy. All right. Uh, excretion is the life function where we uh, or any living thing is going to remove any metabolic waste products. All right. So um, I want you guys to kind of see the, um, the word exit. In the word excretion, it's a good way to kind of help you remember this. And we've already discussed this a number of times, right? Every time a cell does something good, um, like take a little bit of sugar and turn it into um, ATP, um, it does something bad, like make some waste product like um, carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide, if it builds up in our cells, it's toxic. So um, we need a way to remove that waste in order to maintain homeostasis, all right? So when we're looking at excretion, the word to remember is waste. Uh, growth is pretty much a simple one. All living things are able to grow. Um, multicellular organisms grow uh, essentially through the process of cell division. So this plant isn't increasing in size because it's just cells are getting bigger. Um, it's increasing in size because it's obtaining more cells through the process of division. Uh, nutrition, uh, this is uh, the process by which organisms obtain food. And as we've already mentioned here in this course, food is going to be sugar. All right, um, organisms get sugar in a lot of different ways. If you are an autotroph, um, you can produce your own food kind of automatically. Um, so this is uh, plants and a couple of bacteria, and protozoa and things like that. Um, we, uh, humans, are heterotrophs or consumers. We have to consume our food um, from the environment. So um, we have to find something that already has sugar in it. We need to ingest it and then we need to digest it. And I just wanna kinda of introduce you guys um, to your little friend over here. Um, that's the chemical formula for sugar or um, sometimes we'll later call glucose. And I will be drawing him from time to time to look like this. And um, he's gonna be our friend, all right? So glucose is a guy that's gonna help us um, accomplish life functions um, by breaking his bonds and obtaining the, the energy that's inside him. So. The next life function is going to be transport. Um, we're going to be talking a lot about transport, but transport is not the same thing as locomotion, as you saw in the reading. Transport is the process by which organisms absorb and distribute materials. Um, it's sometimes referred to as uh, circulation in multicellular organisms, but we're going to be talking about it mostly as a cellular process, and it's essentially how stuff moves from inside the cell to outside the cell. So um, here's inside the cell, and the cell just made a bunch of cool things. Well, we have to learn about how the cell is going to actually get it outside the cell. Um, the same is true for the things that are outside the cell. In order for the cell to create stuff, it's got to bring new stuff in. So we're going to be talking about this way that cells move things inside and outside, and that's what we're talking about, transport. The next one. Oh, and the last one. All right, so synthesis. Synthesis is kind of the hardest one. We're going to be spending a lot of time um, talking about synthesis, but what we really need to know about synthesis is this is the way that cells make new things, all right? It's a process by which we um, make uh, kind of these large uh, and complex uh, molecules that make uh, life happen um, from these smaller kind of simpler molecules um, that we take in, okay? So um, for example, we're gonna be talking a lot about protein synthesis, right? Proteins are these um, big, huge, complex chemicals that do stuff in our body but they're made of these smaller, simple subunits called amino acids. 
And during the process of protein synthesis, we're going to take these little amino acids and we're going to stick them together to form these big complex molecules. All right. Uh, maybe you've heard of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is another form of synthesis where we take two small little things, water and carbon dioxide, and we turn them into um, our little friend uh, sugar, glucose, right? Yes. Um, why don't we just quickly do a quick word association? If you flip over your green sheet, you're going to see exactly what I mean by this. Um, I want you guys to write these down. So when we're talking about respiration, we are talking about energy, all right? Um, energy in this class is called ATP, so just maybe make a note of that. When we're talking about regulation, we're talking about homeostasis. Okay, that's the word to remember. When we're regulating, we're doing homeostasis. When we're talking about excretion, that's waste. When we're talking about nutrition, that's obviously food. But remember, food is really sugar, and sugar is really glucose. You can write both of those down. Um, transport is going to have to do with movement, really, between the inside and the outside of the cell. And synthesis is going to be building, okay? Building things, larger complex things from simple, smaller subunits. So if you can just do these kind of quick word associations, you should do really well um, on any of our like little upcoming checks for understanding. In fact, um, you have one immediately following this video. Um, and that's pretty much it for the introduction to the life functions. Um, that's it. We did it. All right.